ex roulette and they're falling all over the place. So yeah, I've not done one of these for a while. And that's mainly due to the the price, uh, the postage costs, because originally it was £2.50 for 10 items, and then they changed it to £1.50 for each individual item. So it's just sort of like the price is sort of, I'm not paying £1.50 postage for like a cheap game. But then I had some credit like lying around and I thought, I'll go for it. So there's some cheap ones in here. There's a few I ordered, you've probably seen in my old past videos, which I've had to take back like loads of times. So there's one which I've had to return like three times. So hopefully one of these will have something like good condition in there. So there's quite a few single individual ones here. Also, one, another thing I noticed a lot of the prices have dropped in price. Uh, there's a few which were really expensive and now they're like under the £10 mark. So I think the cheapest, the dearest one is, is like £8. So there was a few I was thinking about getting which were more. But to be honest, I was looking at how many they had in stock and I thought, you know what, eventually they're going to drop the price on them because they obviously are not shifting them. So, right, there's one I want to get out of the way and it's this one. So it feels extra light and it rattles loads. So hopefully it's just a really small manual, but I doubt that. So, and it is Rainbow Six. Yeah, there's definitely no manual in this. God damn it. There's like a, a, a Rainbow Six pamphlet which says do not remove the memory unit. Um, to be fair, it's the case is the case is not broke. Um, no cracks to the case. The spindles are fine, and um, yeah, the game's in the back. So yeah. No, that's fine. Might just keep hold of that and then eventually replace it, you could say. Because to be fair, and it was it was four pounds, so well five fifty once you've included the postage on it, so yeah. Right. So these two have been bubble wrapped. And a theory I have is for some reason if the game's like absolutely worthless, like a couple of quid. For some reason they always bubble wrap it, I don't know why. It's probably just the stores they just happen to come from. But I've had like £170 games from CX just come in no bubble wrap. So we'll see. And there's two games which are 150 each. So we'll see. I've just got a feeling they're going to be in these. No, actually it was not. It is not. And they've actually bull roped it pretty well. I can't even get it. This makes for great camera. Okay, they've gone to town on this. I'm so strong, I can break this bull up. Oh my god! Do not wake the baby with the popping of bubbles. Okay, we are nearly, we nearly have, we're nearly... We've done it! Okay. Sega Extreme Sports. Case is fine, no cracks of the case. Not a scratch on the disc. And the manual. Okay. Why why that is not mint, I don't know. Um Yeah. There's a sticker there where it looks like an old they've took the CX sticker off. Um No, no clue why that's not mint. Um Does it look like a good game? I don't know. But yeah, that was four pounds, that one. I definitely know the price on that. Uh, so 550 with postage. I'm very happy with that one. So they've proved me wrong. It wasn't a like dirt cheap game. But we'll see what's in this one. Maybe this is like a one pound fifty game. Okay, they put in two bubble envelopes. 
No, I it was completely proven wrong with that. And this one is F1 Grand Prix for Dreamcast. And to be fair, there's a little crack there. Eh, uh, yeah, can't really see it. Oh, just there. You probably make it out. Oh, they put a CX sticker in it. The manual's nice. Discs in the back. Looks like they've actually cleaned the disc. Looks like there's some fluid on it. Yeah. Again, I believe this one was quite expensive um, a couple of months back when I was doing the old videos. I think it was about um, fifteen pounds. So I could be wrong. I could have been a mint one, but I think it was still like twelve pounds for for the second second one. So yeah, you don't really see that very often. I can't shut it. I've trapped the manual in the in it. The manual's so big, I can't. I can barely shut the case on that. And a CX sticker. Right. Okay, this one's bulb wrapped as well. Damn it! I said I thought there'd be cheap ones in there. Now I look like an idiot. Aha! Oh, they've sent me the wrong game. <laughs> they've sent me the. You idiots! You've sent me the wrong game. Now, normally I would be angry, but they've sent me a more expensive game. <laughs> so I ordered. Hold on, let me get the, is the thing in this? God damn it. Oh, here we go. No, I can't buy. They sent me the, um, I mean, let me just check the condition. Anyway, it's um, Sega World uh, Worldwide Soccer 2000. Now, this is the Euro edition. That's slightly more. It was actually out of stock. They didn't have this in stock because it was one of those I was looking at. I think it was about four pounds. But the one I ordered was £1.50 and it looks like someone's tried to clean the case. Look at that. It's completely misted up. Um, yeah, the inlay is water damaged, which is a bit of a... Let me take that out. Maybe, maybe it will... Yeah. Again, I, I can't really... I'll probably just keep it for now. Because it is slightly more rarer. Um, disc's fine. And the manual is fine as well. It looks, yeah, whatever's um, it's water damaged. It, yeah, and again, the back, something has water damaged that. So, I don't know. Do I take it back? Do I not? Um, again, for what it's worth, I might just keep it. So, yeah, they sent me the wrong one. Or oh, they've obviously put it through the system. Let me get a drink. Ah, taste of the Rockies. Ah, I can talk. Right, next one. I've actually come. I can't remember what I've ordered now. Like I said, nothing expensive. And this one is eighteen wheeler American Pro Trucker. Case is not broke at all. No scratches the disc. And the manual actually looks like untouched. That's folded in. The typical trait of the Dreamcast case. It's sort of stuck on the thing. Again, I'm not even sure why that's not mint. Hinges ain't broke. So there's no like... Nothing on the case really, which would. There's a few like tiny scratch marks in it, but yeah, I believe that was six pound. That's another one which has gone down in price quite a bit. I think at one point it was like twelve to thirteen pounds, maybe even a bit more. Oh, uh, so yeah, seven pound fifty when you've added the one fifty postage. What else we got? Aha! Here's another single one. I'll leave the uh, one with four in for the last. Okay, next one is incoming, and it says £5 there, but I believe it was £3.50, so actually it was £5 when you've included the postage. A lot of sticker residue on there, um, but the case is actually 
not cracked. I can hear something rattling, like a one of the teeth has fell off. Not too bad. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure why this, again, the plastic there, why this is not mint. I've had worse mint games than this, to be fair. But I suppose maybe it's got a sticker on the front. I've, God knows why. Oh, actually, yeah, there's a slight the case there. I don't even know what that is. It looks like something's landed on it. And it's not, cr not cracked it, but sort of... I don't know, I can't describe it. It's not cracked, it's just a burn mark, maybe? Yeah. Incoming. I believe that's some sort of spaceship flying game now on to the last one which means that the the two I've ordered like a thousand times before are in this one plus I believe there's one which actually you don't see very often not particularly expensive game but you just don't see it very often first up the bag is yeah this is the one which I've been trying to order uh, Blue Stinger. I've ordered this first time it was no manual and it was just shit condition um, Second time it was mint pretty much mint with the disc had a scratch on the top so So yeah, it seems all right. The teeth are all snapped off on, on that bit um, Manual doesn't like it's been touched Disc is pretty good to be fair so yeah, Blue Stinger, finally I have it, after many attempts. Um, and I was just checking if it wasn't my one which had a scratch mark in it before. But um, no, to be fair, if that hadn't had the teeth snapped out of it, pretty pretty minty that would have been. So yeah, at last we have Blue Stinger. I believe it's some sort of shooter horror game, so it would be quite good. A lot of people rave about it. I believe that was £8, so 9 50 with postage. This one fluctuates all over the place. I think I bought it for four pounds at one point, and then it's gone up to like twelve. Need drink. So th I, I believe all these came in um, the store at once, and normally that was me sort of jump on it because I think all oh. and there's a couple of mint ones in there, which normally means the rest are going to be mint. If they came in one bundle, it means the person probably looked after them. We'll find out. The next one is Rainbow Six Rogue Spear. Um, now I'm hoping, yeah, manual's there. Discs, fine. Um, again, no cracks to the case. Ah, that's the problem. The hinge is broke. And this was bought from Chips in in Middlesbrough. I believe there used to be a Chips in um, a Chips store near me in how was it Market Harbour, and I went there recently because I remember it being there and it's gone. So I don't, I'm not sure if they still have chip stores around. Um, yeah, so I guess that's why it's not mint because they uh, it's cracked there. Three pound fifty that one is. Looks like quite a fun game. So yeah, that was five pounds of postage. The next one is so this is this is the one which you to be fair don't see very often. And straight away, uh, the hinge is broke. And normally it won't bother me, but it is a NBA tile, so it does have the holographic sticker on the front, which is a bit of a kick in the teeth. Um, I can live with that to be fair because I think it's four pounds. And you just don't see it very often. It's just not one of those that comes up very often. Um, yeah, I mean, to be fair, the content's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so 550 after postage. Again, you can get it off eBay. I've seen it go for 99p at one point. Um, um, but the bite now is normally ranged from like 10 to 15 quid. So, And this was, this was all voucher, so... And the last one, and this is again, this is the one I've ordered a few times. Uh, not an expensive game. In fact, you, in fact, you see it everywhere. Um, so this one's in good condition, and it is the incredible F1 Grand Prix. 
and the case has got a big nasty crack along the back there. Again, that's I can fix that. Well, as far as how many of these games actually have the disc in the back, um, it's not terrible condition. Uh, there's writing on the manual just here, and there's a P on the disc. I might might be able to get that off. Um, this could do with a, a clean. It's got a lot of fingerprints on. Yeah, and there we have it. Ten games. And to be fair, I don't think I'm going to bother taking any of them back. Let me just get a quick look. Yeah, pretty happy with all them, to be fair. Obviously, Rainbow Six, uh, missing the manual, has this little precautions thing telling you not to remove the VMU. Uh, just, I'm just going to keep it, and then I'll probably order another one, take the manual out, or take that one back, either way. And then obviously the football game, which is a bit of a so like, do I keep it? Do I not? It is the wrong game. Um, I might take it back. I might use this case as a donor for one of mine because that's that's naughty. Don't do that. <laughs> CX don't mind. Yeah, I mean to be fair, it's just the water damage which really puts me off with that. I know it's it was only one fifty, but. And sent me my, I might just keep it if I can, but I don't think I can bother just to take it back because I'll only get three pounds back. And I can, to be fair, I can just order another. Actually, I can't order another one. Oh, I can order another one, and then take that one back. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. And I'll have an excuse to take it back. So it's fucking water damaged. What the fuck? So yeah, just quick check. So that was mint. So yeah, quite a few, which surprisingly you could class as mint. To be fair, um, yeah, I mean there's quite a few with just the teeth in the middle have just snapped off, or just like it's got a tiny crack in, which I suppose has to be marked down. Could have been done in the post for all I know. But yeah, so there we go. The last CX roulette, I believe it was part eight. Um, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this series. I suppose I could say maybe and again it's just not viable to order 10 things at once especially with the post at 150 because uh, you don't really have there's no point in ordering 10 items unless you want 10 items on there I suppose that doesn't and obviously I've run out of C uh, Dreamcast games to buy I think I'm down to if I keep all them which I am uh, 21 games I've bought, there's three down there actually I bought could, I could be under the 20 mark but they're quite, there's a few on CX, but there's quite a few uncommon ones, not rare. I think the rarest one is Aqua GT. I believe that's, it's not an overly expensive game. I think it's one of those, it fluctuates loads. On CX, I think it's about, it's not much, it's about £18. I could be wrong. Uh, eBay is a little bit more. But if you go on Retro Collect, it's classed as uh, very rare, extremely rare, one of those. Um, so... And like I say, the rest, I can't think of any which were probably are probably over twenty quid now. And there's a lot of filler, like like the football games, which which I just haven't picked up yet, or I've bought them and I've had to return them. So yeah. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, leave a comment um, saying what you thought of these ten games. Um, like I say, this, there won't be any more after this. That's the last CX roulette. Um, I'm sure. I guarantee there won't be another one. I'm sure of it. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the next video. Not a, not a CX unboxing one. It won't be that. It'll be something else. Goodbye.